welcome to the next stop on our entrepreneurial showcase. We are going to meet up with Lauren Edwards. She's a young lady, super entrepreneurial spirit, and she built a heck of a business in 2020. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah, How are you guys? Great. Thank you so much for having us here today. We're real excited to be talking to you. Um, tell us a little bit about your space here. Yeah, definitely. I'm super excited to show you guys around. Uh -huh. This is my shared kitchen space. So this is where I do all my prep for grazing tables, all the preparation for the boxes, boards, all that stuff. A bunch of small local businesses work out of here, so I get to make friends right. here too. And it's just a really collaborative, open space. I love it. That's great. Well, let's head on back and see what you got. Sounds good. <laughs> So Lauren, you've built an amazing business over the last year. We've been watching your progress on social media and it's, a, it's, it's really interesting to see how far you've come in such a short period of time and how you've been able to leverage social media to build your business. Obviously, all of us in business these days are really using this kind of new media to reach out and gain influence. So tell us a little bit about how you got started in your business though. Yeah, definitely. It's been such a crazy year. I would never, if you asked me a year ago, I would never think that I'd be making cheap boards for a living and like posting Instagram pictures right. and I get paid for that now and it's so crazy. But I have focused my main like strategy just social media and I think in this day and age, connecting with your customers, social media is such a great way to really make them feel like you're a part of the business too. So you're not just buying a product, you're buying me too. Like I'm, it's a personal experience and that's kind of what I wanted to base my whole business around is just that personal experience with the food and with me. So I actually got my background. My background is in marketing. So I graduated college with a business marketing degree, um, started working in marketing for a beauty brand over in Irvine. Um, was having a good time there, but I was doing charcuterie board on the side. Oh. So I would always like for Christmas, Thanksgiving, just for family and friends, I'd make them post pictures on my regular Instagram. And then everyone's like, why don't you just make a business out of it? And I'm like, no, that's crazy. Like I have a job that's right. nonsense kind of. And then I um, made an Instagram for it. Bare bones, zero followers. I was like, I'm taking all these pictures anyway, so might as well throw them up here, right. have a little archive of all my work. And so made that Instagram and ever since that kind of just blew up from there. I actually owe a lot of my success to TikTok is where I kind of got my big break. Really? Um, yeah. My little sister, Gen Z, 17 years old, she's like, you should make a TikTok. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. I had no idea what TikTok was. I was like, that's like not not my place. Uh, first video I made actually blew up, got six million views. And so that, <laughs> that kind of just like shows you the power of TikTok and the power oh of social media. Goodness. So that's that's a little bit about how I got to start and like how big of an impact right. social media has made on my business. And I heard you're only 20, 24 four years old. <laughs> how amazing is that? What a great career you're going to build for yourself. It's, I'm excited for all that's to come. This is kind of just the beginning and I'm about to hire my employees and we're just leveling up from here. So I'm really excited. That's incredible. Yeah. And I heard that you've been nominated for the OC Business Journal. Oh. <laughs> yes, you know what? Women in power. It's, right? I, that's why I'm so happy that we yeah. get to talk today and I get to meet you and kind of we get to, I get to tell you about my business. I've been so inspired by you and other other women in the industry. That's wonderful. I can't wait until we start getting yeah. <laughs> to know how you do this. I'm going to teach you um, um. my special trick, the salami rose. It's like a charcuterie staple. I'm sure you've seen it before, but I'll teach you my tricks how to make it. Let's do this. Let's Sounds do good. It. So I've actually dabbled a bit in charcuterie. You probably wouldn't look, know it by looking at me. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to head over here and I'm going to kind of put together a little, oh. a little oh. plate of my own, if that's okay, okay with you. Okay, I'm going to give you some supplies and we'll see what you're able to make okay. out of it. Challenge give accepted. Give some cheese. <laughs> Give you a couple nectarines, one nectarine. Strawberry, <laughs> please. Grape, yeah, one strawberry. Part of my boards. And we'll give you one piece of salami. Oh, oh we lost fun. one. Give you one salami, and we'll see what you Thank create you with so that. Much. I'll, even, right. I'll even give you a board. Oh, I got a oh board. Oh, wow. It's my lucky day. to kind of really step up your charcuterie game at okay. home. And all you're gonna need is salami. So we're gonna be using Genoa salami. And then I use these little cups, but at home you can use any little ramekin, little bowl that you okay. have at home. So I'm gonna teach you how to make that. All you need is about seven pieces of salami and you'll be surprised what we're gonna create at the end. So you have your little station right okay. here. We're gonna start by taking three pieces. Three? Yes, okay. and we're just gonna gently overlap them Oops. like that. 
So then they're kind of overlapping like a little bit. Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay. And then just kind of smash that down a little bit. And then we're gonna take one side and then being careful not to keep any gaps in between, we're just gonna roll it right up. Okay. So that's gonna create our little center of our rosebud. And then we're gonna take our other piece, so holding this in one hand, and then another piece. Okay. We're just gonna fold that in half. And then these are gonna be our petals. So we're just gonna keep adding them. We're just gonna wrap it around like that. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I know, they come together so fast. They're so easy and they look so cute on the board, especially these are little peppered ones, so it adds a little, little the, flavor. And then same thing, we're just gonna keep adding side? the petals. Okay. Yeah. So then we're just gonna add maybe two or three more. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just put that put right in, in here. And then, so now it's like all like that, but then I'm just gonna gently take the petals and uh -huh. kind of just fluff them out a little bit. Oh so then it makes it- Oh my goodness. Get that it, petal it's effect. It's really, really cute. And they're so cute and they're so fun. Look at this. It's adorable, it really is. And it wasn't that hard. Mm -mm. How are you guys doing over there? I'm, I'm almost done over here. <laughs> So this would be salami, salami rose. Salami rose. Yes, okay. salami rose. And you can do this with different types of charcuterie too. So if you have copa, prosciutto, really anything. Whatever it is that yeah, you want. You and then you put right in the middle. And so I'll just have a gap in my board and then I'll just plop that guy right in there. We're good to go. Perfect. My masterpiece is complete. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's a lot better than I was expecting. I like it. It's cute. It has personality. That's all you can really ask for with I've, trickery. You have your own style. I've tried to take so this nice. art form to a whole new level. It's it's portraiture, self-portraiture with charcuterie. It's speaking to me. I like it. It looks it looks pretty similar to mine, actually. Yeah, I can see the similarities. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is fantastic. Charcuterie is all about creativity. So Obviously. 10 out of 10. Lover boards approved. Excellent. And speaking of Loverboard, why the name Loverboard? I get this question all the time. Yeah. It was mainly because I wanted something different. Mm -hmm. I didn't want something super generic. Right. I wanted you to remember it. I wanted people to think twice when they asked me and I said Loverboards. They're like, oh, Loverboards. Like, what is that, right? right. What is I wanted it? that. It is very intriguing to say Loverboard. I'm like, what is it? I so wanted people would, to think yeah. twice about it. If yeah. you didn't know. I love the way you approach this business. Very creative, very different. And you know what? People need more of that, that spirit of trying something new, doing something different. I so appreciate that, love that. Thank you, no, it's been so fun like, getting to express myself yeah. and getting to call this my job has right. been crazy. When I was working in an office, I never would have dreamed of doing something like this. Like I get to clock into my kitchen and then just start making charcuterie boards and that's that's what I do. It's, it's crazy, I still wake up and I'm very thankful every day that I get to have this kind of environment to be in, but I'm it's really excited for the future. And we, are very thankful that you decided to do that. Yes, you guys need... get to keep this too. Oh, so. really? <laughs> yes. We need more lover boards in the world. I'm super inspired by women like you, and it's just been so crazy, this opportunity. I love getting to meet you. I love getting to kind of do this whole thing. That's it's just so being in nice. the environment and like the day right. and age where women are so empowering yeah. and so supportive of each so. other, it's, yeah. it's awesome. And to see such a young version of myself with <laughs> fashion and creativity and now yeah. here, this is incredible. Congratulations. Thank You're you. Doing a phenomenal Thank job. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What a great day we've had being able to tell these two entrepreneurial stories. A local business in San Juan Capistrano and a woman-led business right here in the heart of the Costa Mesa that have had incredible growth by connecting with the local communities. Two completely different stories with amazing results. And that is the essence of the American dream.